Hello everybody, this is Jason Quinn with JasonQuinn.net. I just want to let y'all know how my alcohol stove is doing. Uh, it's funny how sometimes you can be working on a design and it doesn't work out very well. Actually, I wasn't intentionally going with the design that I'm going to be showing you, but I went with a different design and it didn't quite work out, but in an accident it actually worked out better this way, I believe. So this is what I got so far. It's a stainless steel outside with aluminum inside. And uh, I will show you, I'll break it down since I haven't put it together yet. Uh, this is what I come up with. I took that, uh, those salt and pepper stickers I showed you not too long ago in my uh, earlier uh, video. And I cut the bottom off because this is the top actually here. This is the top part here. Because this, this originally, this lid would get, went in here like this, snapped on. But what I did was, I'm taking the lid and using that as a bottom, a bottom for the stove. And then for the top, what worked out really well is I took a Coke can bottom and I cut it out and I rammed it in here into this into this groove here. And when I rammed it in that groove, it's nice and fairly nice and tight. There's a little bit of uh, gap in it a little bit around the edges, but I think that'll work out to my benefit and I'll explain why. Um, but for the center part, uh, since I wanted to have a solid design, no cut and piecing with the aluminum, I took a Red Bull can, cut the top out, and uh, cut it to si the size I needed. And what, ha what you do is you just take this, you put your the aluminum can, it takes a little bit to get in there, and it fits in fairly tight. If I can get it, hold up one second. Fits in just like that, and then you just take the bottom and just seal the bottom up, and that's what I got for it so far. Now I'm, I'm thinking about putting hole. Uh, I got. I'm gonna put pinholes all the way around, but before I do that, I'm gonna test it because what might happen and it, what, what hopefully will work is the very edge of this. Hopefully, since it's not completely sealed, it'd be able to provide a way for that vapor the alcohol vapor to escape and then burn which I think would be a really neat design and uh, also the center ring in here since there's a little bit of a gap in the airspace hopefully what, what that'll do as well is also come out of that as a vapor and then uh, burn as well so we'll see how that works with that I'm gonna try it out first like this before I put it all together and I uh, hope it'll work if not then uh, like I said I'm gonna put just pinholes all the way around but like I mentioned, I was going to involve that, that thermometer in, and uh, I've actually come up with a really easy solution to, to be able to have that thermometer. What I've got is the, the, grill, the grill thermometer, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right here where that groove is, cut, at, cut it out to here, and this is just going to sit right in there with a washer like that, and it'll give me the temperature, it'll give me the temperature of the top part here. I'd be able to look at it and be able to tell about how hot it is. Uh, it's not necessarily a needed, I mean, it's not like it's needed, but I think it works fairly well. And uh, uh, hopefully I'll get more updates on the on the alcohol stove. But uh, everybody uh, take care and uh, have a good day. All right, well, good night. Bye.